The welcome screen in AutoCAD Electrical is extremely useful as well. You've got the display at startup tick here. You can tick it or you can untick it. I'm going to leave it ticked because obviously I want it to display at startup. The reason I do that is if you look at the work section here on the left hand side, you have the new option where you can open up a new AutoCAD electrical drawing. You have the open option where you can open up existing electrical drawings. And you've also got open sample files. The sample files come with AutoCAD Electrical and you can go and open those up and work through them if you wish. The other nice feature, any recent files that I've opened are here. So I've got some recent files showing there on the screen. In the Learn section in the middle, Autodesk provide us now with an overview of AutoCAD Electrical here at the top. And as you can see, that video is 4 minutes 48 seconds long. So 5 minutes of your time and you've got an overview of the functionality of AutoCAD Electrical. What's really nice as well is post-training tools such as Essentials videos here. We've got the AutoCAD Electrical interface, working with projects, schematic creation, and so on. I mentioned the Autodesk Exchange App Store. That's in the Extend section on the right here. So you can see I can download at the moment. The featured app there is ACAD Tweet which allows you to tweet from within AutoCAD. You can browse for any app you like. I won't bother clicking on the link because it opens up a web page, but you can browse and go and look for any application you want to look for that might be required for, say, AutoCAD Electrical. You might be designing car parks. You might need to know the turning circles of cars and lorries. I'm sure there's an app in there for that somewhere. Autodesk 360, I mentioned that in the introduction is a method of storing Autodesk information in the cloud. As it quite rightly says there, store, share, view, and collaborate on design files online. You can access your AutoCAD settings and support files from any computer. And it's not just any computer. If you've got an iPad, you can access your files on your iPad. If you've got an iPhone, you can access your files on your iPhone. It makes you very mobile. It allows you to work on site, for example, edit some details using AutoCAD WS on your iPad. You can then apply those changes to your actual drawing on your PC. Notice as well, social media, you have Facebook, where you can connect with AutoCAD, and also Twitter, where you can connect with AutoCAD as well. So the welcome screen is not just a tool to open up existing drawings. It allows you to go onto the internet. It allows you to access social media. It allows you to access applications, third-party ones that you may require. You can also, as you can see in the middle section here, learn by using the Autodesk videos that are provided. I've got a drawing open in a demonstration project. You can see it over here in the project manager on the left. It's demo project and the drawing name is autodesk360.dwg. We're going to have a little look now at Autodesk 360 and how it works and how it's integrated into AutoCAD Electrical. So what we need to do here is we need to look at how AutoCAD Electrical is set up to run with 360 rather than the other way around. Now for this to work, you will need an Autodesk 360 account. If you go to 360.autodesk.com on the internet and set yourself up an Autodesk ID on that page, you can then log into 360 and utilize the space that you're given free of charge on your Autodesk 360 account. Now, I'm already running with Autodesk 360 logged in in AutoCAD Electrical. How do I know that? Well, if I go to the top of the screen up here, you can see a little blue head and shoulders. That's my Autodesk 360 sign in. If I click on the little flyout menu, you can see there that I can sync my settings with the cloud. There's my online options, Autodesk 360. I can sign out, and there's my account details. Now, I don't want to change any of that because I'm signed in. What I do is I go to the Autodesk 360 tab on the ribbon there, and there's all my settings there. There's my design feed. I can collaborate if I want to. That will open up AutoCAD WS, and I can start collaborating in a social style. If we look at share document here, you can designate who shares the document on your 360 account by way of putting in an email address, and they then get emailed permissions to your 360 account. The nice thing is, is I can go straight over here to the left to open folder. And if I click on that now, what it will do is it will open up my 360 folder. 
Now my 360 folder is actually part of my folder list in Windows now. That's part of the new setup for Autodesk 360. So there's Autodesk 360 there, there's my folder. You can see other folders that I use, things like Dropbox and Microsoft SkyDrive there. But if I just click on Autodesk 360, Windows knows that that's a folder and there's all my drawings sitting in my cloud-based Autodesk 360 account. Now you'll notice that I've got various drawings that I've worked with in the past. There's things like set and staging for an event company that I've worked with and so on and so forth. So you can see here that I can set up anything I want at any time and I can actually save the drawings to the folder if I want to. Now I'm not going to do it in this particular case, but that's how you would do it. Now to save that is even easier. I'll just close that now. In fact, I'll minimize it. Best thing to do there, minimize it. You've then got it on your taskbar in Windows if you need to go back. But if I now go to save the drawing, what I can do is I can do a save as here on my quick access toolbar there. And you'll notice there's an Autodesk 360 folder there. It's already there sitting in your list of locations. So you don't even need to go and find it now. It's already in AutoCAD Electrical. And I can save my drawing there. Autodesk 360 DWG. There's my list of drawings in the cloud. I click on save and that has now saved that file to the cloud. Now if I want to save that locally, you'll notice I just go up to save on the quick access toolbar and that will save it. So I can save it locally on my computer or on my server or I can save it to the cloud by just going to that Autodesk 360 option. For you to save to the cloud though, as I stated earlier, you need to be logged in here in AutoCAD Electrical. So you just go there, log in, using the Autodesk ID that you've set up at 360.autodesk.com and you can then start saving. You can create subfolders, project folders, especially for AutoCAD Electrical, project folders are very useful. And you can put any information into the cloud to utilize 360 to be a mobile AutoCAD Electrical user. Some of you may not be aware of the ribbon interface in later versions of AutoCAD. What you'll notice at the top of the screen is you now have a ribbon rather than the traditional toolbars like you used to have in the AutoCAD Classic view. So let's have a look now at the ribbon and what it actually does. You'll notice I've got a ribbon interface drawing set up and that's sitting in our demo project. And what we're going to do is go straight up to the top of the screen and if I hover over the panels on the ribbon you can see that they highlight. What you've also got is at the top of the ribbon you have your tabs. So you'll notice there, project, schematic, panel, and so on. Now they don't have to display as panels. If you go along the ribbon, along the tabs at the top, just here, I can click on the little flyout menu and I can minimize just to tabs, like so. If I click again, I can minimize to panel titles, like so. If I click again, I can minimize to panel buttons, like so. I can also cycle through all of them. And as I click through now, it goes through each one as I click. And then I go back to where I was at the beginning, the default setting. So I can go back to the Home tab now. And you see I get all of my Home panels like Draw, Modify, Layers. If I go to the Project tab, I get panels such as Project Tools and Other Tools. Now you'll notice when I hover over a panel, it highlights only when there's a flyout menu. Can you see that there? Project Tools does not have a flyout menu. Other Tools has a little triangle. Click there and there's other commands. You can pin those open using the pin like that and they stay open. If I unpin, as soon as I move away, they fly back into the ribbon itself. Let's go back to the Home tab on the ribbon. The reason I say that is the panels are slightly smaller and a little bit more easier to manage for the next thing I'm going to show you. The ribbon itself is made up of these panels, which, as you can see, have the regular icons like line, polyline, and so on. Hover over any icon, you get a flyout menu on what that command actually does. As you move away, the flyout menu disappears. What would it be like, though, if I could actually bring one of those panels into the drawing area? Now, because of the resolution I'm using to record the video here, I don't have a lot of screen real estate. But let's say I had a super duper dual screen, 27 inch screens set up on my desk. What I could do is have my panels in different places on those screens. It's very easy to do. 
click and hold on the panel title bar and drag. And you'll see now that my draw panel, when I release it, is now in my drawing area. If I hover over the title bar now, I get these little icons appear here. So I can return the panel to the ribbon, or I can actually toggle the orientation so that the flyout comes out at the bottom. Or if I move away, that'll go back in now. If I toggle the orientation again, the flyout comes out to the side. Very, very useful if you've got lots of screen real estate and you want to keep that draw panel open to draw some objects on your drawing. What happens though if I go to a different tab on the ribbon and I want to return my draw panel to the ribbon? Click on the icon there on the sidebar, return panel to ribbon. It doesn't appear on the project tab, but if I go back to the home tab now, you'll see that draw is back on the left hand end of the home tab on the ribbon interface. So you can see that this ribbon interface is very, very useful. You can customize it. You can move the panels around if you want to. The good thing is it's now all at the top of the screen. And the flyouts allow you to access other parts of the panel. You can pin those open like that. So my modify commands are now pinned open for as long as I want them to be. I can then click on that pin again, and it flies back into the ribbon again. It's a very, very useful tool. The ribbon is excellent because the flyouts just pop out. So if I go here to layer states, they just appear. I don't have to worry about a dialog box and closing a dialog box anymore. If I click away from that flyout, it goes back into the ribbon again. Very, very useful, very, very easy to use. For those of you that haven't used it before, though, just take care, be measured, and look for the things that you need because they might be in a slightly different place to what you're used to if you've been using the AutoCAD Classic interface with the original toolbars.